Hi guys, greetings, greetings friends from New York. Just wanted to come on again real quick and say hello. I just got home a little while ago from work and I was happy to see that um, in my mailbox, along with a bunch of bills, I got this month's Ipsy Glam Bag, so I wanted to unbox it for you. My little mini Ipsy haul. Um, Every month, you know, they bill me ten eighty nine for this, and every month they say, oh, this is so stupid, I should just cancel it and save the money, but then I wind up not doing it, but then when I get the little product, it's like a little present in the mail, and it cheers me up a little, and um, it always comes in a really cute little bag. This one has a star on it, and I don't need any more makeup bags. You know, one of their five products that they always send you is another cosmetic bag, and I don't really understand why they do that, because nobody needs, like... 12 or 15 cosmetic bags but this one is in rose gold and it says on it and off she went to change the world so that's a nice thought uh, I might give it to my daughter but what came in it uh, this month was a really cool highlighter definitely something useful for me the brand is Ofra highlighter and the shade is Star Island which is a beautiful kind of lightly beige pink um, I'll definitely get some use out of that because I really enjoy highlighter. I think it definitely um, makes your skin glow, obviously. That's what it's for. And then um, this product is by Pharmacy brand. And it's it's a melting balm, green clean, coconut-based um, cleansing balm. Like a cleansing oil, which I do like using. And it smells amazing. It smells like coconut and green tea. So that'll be fun to use. Um, I'm actually wearing a bathing suit top that I got in the mail. Oops, I didn't really mean to do that, but it's kind of cute. It's, uh, yeah, it's not like I'm wearing a bra. It is a bathing suit top. And I think I'm going to try to brave this kind of look this summer um, on the beach where my daughter lives with like a tankini bottom. And I'll definitely, you know, wrap a sarong or like some kind of a huge towel around me. But um, it was on sale, I think, from Old Navy. And I love anything with stripes or polka dots. See, I love like, I don't know, I like that look. I pulled my hair back because I'm getting ready to wash my face and have some tea and go to bed. The other thing in here is Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer by Hello Fab. And I do love me a good primer also. That's really stepped up my cosmetic game in past years. Um, I never understood the obsession with all the extra steps. But now I find that my skin and my face does look a little better when I, when I step it up a little. When I use like a highlighter under my brow, uh, my eyebrow and over it. And um, primer on my eyelids before I put on shadow. And then primer on my skin after my moisturizer and before foundation so you do what you can <laughs> and then I definitely use a little contour and some highlighter but I love this color I really do this is uh, like a rosy tan eyeshadow by EB or IB IBY and the shade is called get soaked and it's called lush eyeshadow so that's kind of cool I mean for 1089 I, I would have um spent all that. Oh, and there was also a Tarte mascara that came with it, um, but it's called Man Eater. I probably left it in my bathroom because I put some on. I don't know if you can see it or not. I put on the mascara and the eyeshadow, even though I'm going to wash it all off and go to bed, but I just felt like doing a little show and tell with you guys. And um, I had a pretty decent day. Looking forward to getting more rest tonight. And uh, it's really true what they do say about Mercury retrograde because between that and like daylight savings or whatever, I noticed a big difference with coworkers and with residents. Um, and I was also giving some thought today, especially after listening to Sabina's, you know, really adroit, astute um, commentary this morning about Amberlynn Reed, is that, you know, for as, for as frustrating as, as, she is to us, you know, her viewers that watch her every couple of days, if we even do still, um, with her, you know, 12 minute upload or half an hour or 40 minute or whatever. And she shows us a little snapshot 
obviously, of, of what she wants us to see and, and think and feel about her life. And as bad as it is, I mean, I was thinking to myself, what is it like to actually live with her? You know, what's it like to be Becky and to be, to have like no self-esteem and be somebody's professional 24-7 caregiver um, and kind of like puppet in a way. And, you know, Eric and Ricky, roommates, friends, whatever, you know, they used to feature a lot more in her videos than they ever do now. I haven't seen them in a while. And it seems like there's a real energy shift in that household a real mood shift, which I can't quite put my finger on, but I feel like they're all getting really tired of her and she knows that the jig is up and that's why she's getting more and more like obstreperous. I love that word. Obnoxious in other words. But um, yeah, I was just thinking about like whether or not do I feel sorry for Becky or not, or is she like really complicit in all this? And, you know, she's like, trauma bonding and Stockholm syndrome and, and, you know, like a willing participant in basically being abused. And, and I know how hard it is to leave bad relationships. I've spent my life doing that really. Um, and not just dating, I mean like marriage too, you know, but she, I feel like she could get a job. She's young and she's not completely unintelligent. I don't think and, um, and I feel like if she surrounded herself with good, positive people and like her family members and other friends, she could get away from Amberlynn Reed and have her own life and get rid of some of that, that tremendous toxic energy that I, I visualize that Amber doesn't just blow up because of the weight and the fat and the food and everything, but because of like all of the energy that she sucks from everyone around her. Um, from her environment and from people and and she just gets more and more inflated with it and it's like she's taken everyone down with her until they stand up to her and you know she she would not be able to get any of this food if Becky wasn't getting it for her you know unless she does have food delivery service I don't really know but um, I just I try to picture their lifestyle sometimes and, and what that household must be like with Amber Lynn just doing nothing but obsessing about food or eating or planning to eat or planning a new diet or counting a calorie or binging or, you know, eating in the middle of the night or eating in bed and, and then just buying clothing online and, and going to Walmart. And like, that's her whole life. And of course, YouTube, which I feel like she's probably obsessed with. I'm sure that when she's not uploading, she's thinking about what to upload or, She's racking her brains for something interesting to sell about herself. Um, and and she probably stays up all night reading the comments and watching reaction channels just so that she can then get off on feeling victimized and and she can be more and more defensive. And it's just, it's really sad. And I don't really know why I'm, I've fallen down the rabbit hole, but I guess I'm hoping for some kind of a different result or... I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking about that today, but I was just, you know, thinking to myself that we, we watch your videos and we're like all, all a flutter for like a day or more. And then there's Becky and Ricky and, and Eric who actually live with her and have to somehow work their way through that dynamic of her really being this kind of dominant alpha toxic energy. Um, I don't know. I'm tired. My brain gets tired thinking and talking about her, but I showed you my new makeup stuff and the uh, ring light and tripod is due to arrive tomorrow. I can't wait to start having fun with that and experimenting. Hopefully I can figure it out and uh, back to work tomorrow and my fun plans on Sunday with seeing my whole family and making a bunch of Irish food and it's going to be great. I can't wait to eat up those babies. Oh my God, they're so adorable. So I love you guys and thank you for bearing with me, my rambling, whatever this is and... I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. Bye.